Okay. Yeah. Okay. Shadow goes down that way. She has a lot of shadow on her neck. Let's see, how did I do this? Okay. She's got some pretty deep shadows on her arm. A little bit of shadow because her wing is blocking some of the light there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Shadows on the fingers where the knuckles bend. Her back finger is going to be really dark. A lot of that's going to be in shadow. That's going to be in shadow. We're getting there. We're getting there, people. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, let's see. The light behind her head is casting most of the shadow here. on her wings. Shit, these hands are gonna suck. And we will come back to her face because the face is so intricate, you guys. Ridiculously intricate. You'll notice I kind of speed through this. And sorry if I forget to talk. I just, I get so zoned in on what I'm doing that sometimes I'm like, oh, I forget to comment. Okay. Now we gotta do that on this hand. We're, we're getting there. We're doing it. I wish I'd had coffee. I'm so tired. This is going to be a little bit darker because it's just the way the wrist bends. Okay. Let's see if we can get Shadow. Shadow. More shadow. More shadow. <laughs> I always work with my shadows first, and I, I've met, I think I've mentioned this on another video. Um, and the reason is because I do have such a hard time with highlights and how I tend to make things too bright. It's just a flaw I have that I've learned that if I shade with my shadows first. If I overdo them, that's okay because things just turn out a little darker. Um, if I use too many light colors, it looks really washed out. So it's just easier for me to 
start with the shadows now and it keeps me from making those mistakes. I have so much shading here with the lines that these ears are going to be a little diffi difficult to clean up. I don't know why I said ears, there's only one. Okay, now the majority of the light on her ear is going to be on this upper portion. should be darker. Oh, the face. Everybody's been waiting for the face. Faces are so troublesome for so many people. Light. Okay. I want my... The way the, the lighting hits this, the, the shadows are like this strange angle. I made them have very deep shadows. Okay. This is where I wish I hadn't shaded so much because I'm going to be redoing this a lot. Uh, okay, most of our face is going to be the shadow on that side. So we're just going to go ahead and block the majority of this in. This is a very uh, steep shading. So she's going to have a lot of shadow under her chin where I normally wouldn't put quite so much. Shadow with the corners of the mouth, under the nose, bottom of the nose. Um, let's see, it's going to go in a little bit. Thinky, thinky, thinky. A little bit of shadow on the upper lip. This will be changed, but I need it there for now. Shadow the entire upper lip. Portions of the bottom lip. Uh, okay, inside corner of the eye is the darkest area on the face. A little bit of shadow out towards the corners. I want to give her her lower eyelid. Up under the brow. Crease mark where I wanted her to frown. Okay, so now let's see. This is all going to change eventually, but we're working on it. Um, since this is such a sharp light, I'm going to go ahead and darken up the hollow of her cheek. This will all be fixed later, but right now I just sort of want the idea of how her face works. Okay. Initial shading. Now we terrorize it. Make it much, much worse. <laughs> um, let's see. 
We need a much darker color to work with. So we can go way down towards the saturated and a little bit further towards the dark, deep reds and purples. I actually paint fairly fast, but trying to explain things while I'm doing it is just... I have to pause and think. Now we just, we aim for the very deepest shadows. So like we're talking the shadows from specific objects, um, the deep creases, stuff like that. I didn't even think about this, so I don't want to. <laughs> okay. Shadow over elbow, we'll bring it down. Add a little depth to the midline of her body. Um, we've got a little bit of a shadow with her musculature here. So we'll just go ahead and put that in. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, we need the shadows from her ribbons. This is all in shadow. We need some deeper shadows than all of this detailing. Deeper volume shadows here. Shadow from her top. Deeper shadow from her blade so we don't lose it. Actually, I don't want that quite like that. again a very small shadow more volume shading on the wings And this is eventually all going to be like blended and fixed up. But when you start off, you don't have to be quite so thorough. As long as you just keep fixing the details, eventually it's going to get there. There's no point in worrying about getting it perfect the first minute you try it. Okay. Shadows are starting to get a little respectable. OK, 
Okay, back to her face. I'm just gonna do the deepest creases here. Darker this up because it's her hair and her jawline, and there's just not any light getting to that. Right along the ear. Hair. Deep shadows on the nose. Deep corner shadows. Very deep corner of the eye. Outer eye, eyelid, eyebrow. And we will get way more into the deep shading of this, but Usually after the first two layers of my shadows, I try to go ahead and get into the lighter aspects so I can see how the balance is going to be and if I need to darken certain things up, if I need to lighten certain things up, and so on and so forth. Okay, so, highlights. This is going to be a pain in my butt. Gonna have some definite highlights up here. We are going to use these to increase the contrast on the light areas. This will be blended so much more eventually. Um, let's see. We decided to do a really bright spot right there. Oh gosh, a lot of this is going to go on her face. Let's see where are the bright spots on her. Knuckles. Wrist. and inner arms. The rest I'm just kind of kind of let fade into obscurity. Upper rim of the ear. Probably a little bit of light down here. Bouncing off these bones in the ear. Okay, face. This is where we got to get detailed. Nose, that was not quite the perfect line, I want to redo this. This is something I do with noses because most people don't realize this, but the way your nose bends, there's a little light that usually reflects right about there. 
and then the center bulk of the nose, and it kind of fades in between the two. A little highlight off that. Okay, I think this is work. There's going to be a highlight off the very top rim of the lips. And right here at the corner of the mouth. And right here on her chin. And up here, off the corner of that. And... Oops, I want a much smaller brush. Right here, the light usually shines off the very corner of the nose. Okay, gotta think. This is the corner of the eye. Oh, I need a much smaller brush. It's usually a lot of light reflecting off that. Um, okay, let me think. Getting my brush size right for this is hard. I'm going to experiment here for a second. Okay. Cheekbone. Going down towards corner of the lips. I gotta fix this here in a second. Outer corner of the eye. This needs to be accentuated because she's furrowed her brow. Okay, I need my darkest back. I want a little my bright back. Bright, bright, bright. I need to fix this. See, I mess around with my pictures a lot. I'm like, eh, no, no, fix that, fix that. And we will have to come back with more shadows. But her face is slowly starting to get actual volume. Yeah, and that's about right. Okay. Let's see. What do I want to work on? I still need to do more skin tones. Let me check something. Take away the color. Check the contrast.
she's going to need a lot more contrast in her face. This is just some sort of checking to make sure my contrasts are right. I need more contrast up here. Let's see. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So let me explain a little bit of the red and the orange I have here. Um, this is a habit of mine I have. is I, I tend to make my colors get a little bit bland while I'm working with them. So I will later go through with an airbrush set to overlay and sometimes a very large brush and I will pinken up certain aspects like her skin comes into a lot of contact with red in these areas so I want to redden up the skin tone there a little bit um, you also want like red on like the elbows if they were showing the shoulders knees um, usually a little bit around the knuckles that was too bright tips of the ears cheeks a little bit on the chin a little bit on the tip of the nose And then, actually, I will take my orange. I do not want that orange. I need a better orange. And the yellow in the mid-tones just kind of livens up the skin tone a little bit. I need to do a lot of work on her face. So I usually do it like right around where the mid-tone meets the light. This will all be blended. A little bit of color in her hands. Okay. Okay, face. The lower portion of your face is a little bit bluer than the rest. I know weird things. The upper portion of your head is a little bit greener. There's a little bit more purple towards the eyes. Red at the center part. Um, so I always tend to work those colors in a little bit. I will sometimes also work in a little bit gray to take down specific tones and then I will go with my huge blending brush and just blend it in a little bit so that there's no obvious scenes just the hints that the color is there because you don't want to like <laughs> make it look like she's blushing a lot no I just want to make sure that the that tone of color is mixed into her skin somewhere. And like right now, you can see there's a little bit of green on her forehead and there's a little bit of red in her face. But if you take it away, you'll notice how bland her skin was. It helps. Um, let's see, I want to do this to my clipping group. See, a little bit of color to her skin. Bland. And no one ever notices I do this. Is this just this itty bitty little thing? But adding that little bit of saturation here and there, uh, it livens up the skin tone a little bit. Especially if it's starting to look a little bland. And I will go back and edit this like a million times. I will add more. I will adjust the contrast to her skin. But it adds a little bit of life to it when you have a variation in the color. 
Okay, now I'm going to do something weird. Where is my select brush? Huge. Not a very big density. That is now selected. We're going to screw with the contrast and the brightness. Because I want that portion of her body to have a lot more contrast. than the rest of her skin. I want it to be brighter. Okay, I don't want it quite that bright. Bring down my saturation. Anytime you bring the contrast up on something, the saturation goes up with it. It's just the way the colors work. So if you do mess around with the contrast on a picture, you need to make sure that you lower the color saturation. Um, otherwise, if I left this, look how really saturated it becomes around her face. So you need to sort of even it out. And I try to match it with what's already there. That blends in pretty good, but this is much more saturated than this part. Okay. And eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken up everything else under this so that this stands out more. Okay. Yeah, I make all these little adjustments like all the time. This is common. Um, actually, I might want to go ahead and... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Clear. Um, let me just. I might want to darken the background while I'm working so I get the contrast I need in her face. I don't want to work on a black background. It's tempting. There's a really loud plane going over my house right now. I don't know. What am I doing with this? I want a darker background to work on. Crap, let's do this easy way. Um, hello? Thank you. Working with something darker will remind me to darken up everything else and only lighten this part of her. Oh, let's see. Um, and while I'm at it, that didn't work. <laughs> Isn't bright enough. There. I want to make sure that I remember that this is going to be a lot lighter. It sort of just helps me keep my focus. When I remember that you know, this portion of the image needs to be a lot brighter. Um, having the light here sort of tricks my brain. Um, if I put a dark color next to this really bright light, I immediately think, oh, that's too dark. Wait, I need to lighten that. It doesn't look right. And down here where it's like really dark, I'm like, oh, wait, I need to darken that. This is, this is too bright. It tricks me into remembering the way this is supposed to work. I need much brighter light here. There. 
I'll remember to keep this part bright and that part really not. Okay, now... I need some very, very bright tones. That was not as bright as I wanted it. reminding myself where the lightest parts of this are. Do 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 I want a lot of contrast with this shadow, so I'm trying to lighten up specific aspects of this. She needs a lot more light in her forehead. I want sharper lights up here. I keep kind of reminding myself that, uh, there's going to be a lot of direct light on her face. So I need to lighten some things up. Okay, mm, I guess we can blend a little bit of this, smoothen out my gradients. Just a tad. I don't want to smooth away all of the little lights and stuff because it adds character. But I do like to smooth. <laughs> so many people yell at me all the time, they're like, no, why is it so smooth? I just like smooth skin. I, I don't know. I don't know why that is, it's just it's how I like to do things. To my volume shadows, so they need to be softer. Okay. We have lots more editing to go, but we're getting there. Um, actually, where is my select brush? I'll show you something else I do on skin that goes out of focus, and I'll probably play a lot more with this later. Anything that's outside the original circle, I will sometimes go back and do this. I will lower the saturation so that most of the contrast color is in the center.
that's not a big difference, but it's enough. And then I will lower the contrast because it's not as important. And I'm going to darken it up because I do want that contrast to be there with the center spotlight. Yep, that's what I wanted to do. Now the center area where all our focus was on the black and white drawing is a lot more colorful and it's a lot brighter than the surrounding skin. All of this is just going to kind of fade into not notice. And there, there's certain aspects, like we'll probably come back and add a little bit more red around her skirt because there's these deep creases here and it needs a little bit more color. But for the most part, we're just going to let the color and the contrast fade out as it exits the center of the picture so that your eye just sort of stays in the center because that's where most of the interest is. You're like, ooh, visual interest, color, and shadow. Everything else is like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, um, how do I want to do this? Why is it only 9.48? How long has this been going? There's no timer on my little thingy. Whatever, we'll keep working. Uh, I'm not going to worry about these red tints too much. In fact, I may just overlay them over what's already there. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Let me see if I can darken it. Because I wanted to sort of... It occurs to me I should probably make sure I don't have a selection on! Yay! Jeez. Okay, I want to darken that. Take the color down. Because these are these are way towards the outsides of the picture, and they don't need to be so bright. Okay. Uh, you may notice it doesn't look like there's a lot of well, there's an obvious difference of uh, the contrast here in the very center, as opposed to like areas like this. But you'll notice it's very similar to what's here. Um, as I go ahead and I color the other parts of this and we get more contrast in like her arms and the sword and this part of her wings, um, this contrast is going to stand out a lot more from this lower half than what we have now. And it'll sort of, I don't know, it's going to work. Shush. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see how this looks like without lines. See, as you go and you start adding in these little shadows and stuff, the lines become less important. Like, now I can tell where her lips are, and I could probably add in the shading for that. Uh, I can tell where her nose is and the features of, like, the crease of her brow and where her eyebrows go. It would take a little bit of work on the eyes, but like, her ear, I can pretty much tell where it is now. So I could go ahead and add the little details. I could add the little details in between her breasts where the crease goes. I can tell where that is. Um, just the more you shade, the less the lines mean it's just not important that they're there anymore and it'll be easier to get rid of them okay her wings I'm not sure how I want to do this why is my my color picker does not want to work the way it's supposed to work today I'm not sure what kind of light I want to use on this. We're going to experiment for a little bit. Why is this passing over this? I need to erase that. Uh, 
this her ah no bad the shading on her wings should not pass over this farm oh crap I need to fix that um <laughs> Oh, you guys. Oh, I need to erase this. That's what I need to do. There, we're good. Okay. Whatever. Mm. I'm screwing around with this because I'm not sure what color paint I want to use. To signify the light coming through her wings. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to have to fix this. We're going to work with teal. That should be interesting. Let's see how this goes. Um, <laughs> so much easier when it was black and white. Because we want to show that, that it's the light getting through and not just shading on her wings. So we're going to sort of mix these. To show that it's actually, you know, the light from behind that's coming through and not uh, light just bouncing off the skin. Gotta leave the outer edge dark. Center of the wing is a lot brighter. And I'm gonna screw around with this for a minute, try to figure this out. This has gotta be kind of fuzzy. Um, new layer, clipping group, airbrush, overlay, um, think, 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 that color, that color, I want that color. And then I want it really saturated. We're going to work with it this way. And then I'm probably going to add, like, I don't know, maybe like little veins and stuff to make this obvious that it's see through. We're working on this. We're getting there. Let's see. I need to keep these tones. So I remember that's what I'm working with for each of these panels. Um, okay. Oh no, 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 no. So first we put the teals on.
we are probably going to have to do like so many adjustments to this. But we're going to figure this out. I've never done see-through wings, <laughs> obviously. So this is mostly just guesswork. I'm trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. Okay. And then just gonna be a nice gradient. I need my very bright color. very center of the wing. Smooth this out. And then go in with our airbrush. saturate the borders. Now we're going to screw with it a little bit. Um, because this is not quite how I want it. Okay, how do I want to do this? Airbrush. Very, very bright. Luminosity, maybe? I don't know. We're going to screw around with this. Clipping group. We are so going to adjust this. I really need to adjust the lower part of the wings, too. Okay. I need to adjust the contrast.
take out some of the green. I don't know, we're figuring this out as we go along, people. <laughs> Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, let's see something. Hmm. I think I want to bring the contrast down on these. No, fix this. I gotta fix this. It's bugging me so bad. Okay. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with these. You just gotta, just gonna have to live with the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um... What happens if I screw around with the color on this? Okay, it adds a little bit of a different tint. I want a...
Sorry, you guys. I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to be talking. I'm trying to figure this out. Um, why don't I have... I don't have color here for some reason. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing with these wings. We may come back to this. Because I'm not quite sure. Interesting. We're going to figure this out eventually. I'm going to bring out the blues. I don't usually use a lot of airbrush, but in this instance, it's actually pretty useful. No, I don't. Do I want that much? No. A little bit more blue. We are getting there, slowly, figuring out wings sucks. No, I want it that bright, I just... 
Mm. I'm working on this. I'm working on it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do a really bright blue. No. Yes, but no. <laughs> it's a little bit more tealish. Okay. Combine that. Combine that. Combine that. Combine that. We are probably going to make like a million different changes to this. Eventually. But I like messing around with it. Okay. I think what we're going to do is we're probably going to add these like little itty bitty little veins all over this. We'll see how this will work. Okay. That is not what I'm looking for. Maybe a little bit. I'm just screwing around with this right now. This is not what I'm going to use. I just want to see how the color is going to work. Okay. Cannot be done on overlay. No, I think these are going to be painted on. The question is, am I going to be able to do that with a paintbrush without looking like crap? I don't know. We'll work on that later. I'm, I'm tired of working on the wings. They're eating my brain. Um, now, to match the color of that, the contrast in the background is probably going to be a little bit higher. I like that. It's going to be a very dark, very contrasty picture. We're getting there. Okay, it is 10.16. I don't know how long I've been working on this, but since 8 something. I'm going to take a break because, oh my gosh, I'm getting a kink in my back. Um, we'll be back. We have a lot more coloring to do. A lot. But we're going to get there. I swear.
<laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next part, whatever number that is. I'm losing track. It's like, what, this is, what is this? This is seven. I think the next one's eight. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go take a break, stretch. We're going to come back to this. We're going to be working on this all the way into next week. So hopefully we will get more done and I will stop yelling at these wings that are eating me alive. Comment, like, favorite, subscribe. Um, I really enjoy hearing from you guys and thank you so much for watching. I realize that this series is ridiculously long. Bye.